Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Friday, May 25th, 2018. I am, of course, the Drunk Pokeroo, and it is beer time. It's a special message, beer time. It's a special message from your friendly neighborhood, Drunk Pokeroo. Do you like the steam whistles? Of course you like the steam whistles. For many people, steam whistle is their introduction to craft beer. For far too long, we drank crappy beer. And then steam whistle came along, and it said to us, listen... Not all craft beer is big citrus bombs, scary dark beers. No, no, no. We can make a beautiful, beautiful Pilsner with the simplest ingredients. Four simple ingredients. And it will be delightful. It will be full tasting and it will be damn Canadian. Steam Whistle. One of our first loves. Always. For so many of us. It introduced us to better beer. And we explored from there. And I will always go back to Steam Whistle. This is always in my fridge all year round, but especially in the summer. You want a beer when you come home from work? You grab a damn steam whistle. So, as they do all the time, brand new opener. I picked up a six because that's what I saw first. But usually I got a 12 in the fridge. It's great for me. And it's great for when, like, my dad stops in or somebody that's not into craft, you know. This year's opener is a steam whistle. Can't see that too good? Look for the picture on the Instagrams. What is it with steam whistle? Listen, have you been to the Roundhouse? You need to go to the Roundhouse in Toronto. It's an experience, man. I do have, I have three Pilsner glasses, and mostly because I drink steam whistle like a fiend. Can you drink it out of the bottle? Of course you can, and there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, you want to drink steam whistle out of the bottle, and somebody tells you you can't, screw them. You drink it the way you want. It is a beautiful beer at any time. Clear, golden, nice white head, lots of carbonation. Grassy floral smells. This is what a Czech Pilsner is supposed to be made in Canada, man. Like, you don't understand. I, I hope you do. I hope you drink. I hope even if you're a big hophead, you still appreciate the simplicity. But the most difficult thing to do is to make a very good Pilsner. There's nowhere to hide in these beers. Cheers to Steam Whistle for doing it right. And giving Poke a new opener. I love it. I'm probably going to end up with like eight of these, but that's okay. I'll share them. Don't worry. Cheers, Steam Whistle. Consistently great beer. That is what Steam Whistle gives you every time. That very nice cereal grain, toasty biscuit malt background, a nice bit of floral hops with a tiny bit of bitterness on the back end, but nothing too crazy. A little bit of sweetness grassy hay notes it is simply a beer that you will enjoy drinking at any time this is one of my easily it's a go-to barbecue beer in the summertime because i can drink it out of the bottle like i don't have to bring a glass outside if we're hanging in the pool i grab a bunch of these throw them in the cooler because i can just grab them pop them open and drink them while i'm floating around in the pool this is the kind of beer that you need to have in your fridge yes you do need to have the hot bombs and you do need to have the big saisons and the fruit beers and the sours and everything else absolutely do yourself a favor this summer Make sure you always have Steam Whistle on hand because it is, without a doubt, one of Canada's finest beers and one of my most favorite things to drink when it's hot as hell, baby. Cheers, my friends, to weekends. Steam Whistle. I'm relaxing in the grotto on a beautiful night. It's just beautiful.